How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, and there was a little bit of time there where sometimes consoles would have a monitor that you could attach to your system. You talk about the PlayStation 1, you talk about the GameCube, and then just didn't really happen much anymore. Well, that's when the good people of G-Story provided me one of these. It turns your PlayStation 5 to uh, have a uh, have a monitor attached to the console itself. Yeah, this way you can actually take your PlayStation 5 with this attached to it, and you don't even need to have a TV or anything plugged into it. Looks like it has some pretty nifty options on here too. So in this video, we're going to open this up. We're gonna hook it up to my PlayStation 5. I happen to have my PlayStation 5 right hither, and, uh, and we'll see how it goes, man. Looking forward to checking this out. The integrated LED monitor for PlayStation 5. They also do have one for the Xbox Series X, and I believe there's one for the S coming out soon. Now, I don't have the X, but I do have the S. But this one here for the PlayStation 5, well, it looks it looks pretty legit already here. Is there some cables in there or something? We have... What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, this is the vertical and horizontal dual-purpose stand. Cool. Oh, dude, they uh, even included a little rubber grip thingy for your uh, PlayStation 5 controller. That's kind of fun. And then here's the device itself. And this thing actually seems pretty light, and I figured it would be. And that's not a bat... Hello. I promise I've, I promise I've done this before. Ah. Okay, so here is the device itself. Here's the monitor, and you can open it. Can I? Oh, here, let me take care of this side here. Where is it? Here it is. Wait, what? There you go. Now it does use its own uh, AC, which is probably what this box over here is. Yep, comes with the AC. And then I bet it's kind of like one of those, you know, it goes from the HDMI to the other eight, like instead of going to the TV, it just goes to this. So it's just gonna, you just need a short HDMI cord, which I bet they also included. Oh yeah, there's one right there. And a remote control as well, dude. Awesome, awesome. And then the monitor itself, like that, dude, that looks great. So you got some extra buttons down there too and everything, cool. Now judging from the back of this, it looks like I need to remove like the front face plate of the PlayStation 5, which I've never done before, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, gotta be doable, right? They did include instructions. Oh, this is the warranty card. Oh, it's one of these like map instructions. Okay, this is in the wrong language. Remove the upper cover of the game console, uh, lift up at the corner of the logo, and then it can slide down from there. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. Now again, I've never done this before, so I, they're saying it just kind of literally pops off. If you kind of lift this up and slide, I don't want to break it, hold on. Lift up, oh, lift up and then slide down. I'm, I was trying to slide it up. Let's see here. Oh, I do I do see where it's kind of pinned in of why you need to lift that part up, but it just says you just lift up and slide down, so. Okay, actually that wasn't so hard at all. Oh, and this is already, oh, I'm, I'm glad I did. Look how dusty and dirty this thing already is. <sighs> I probably shouldn't have done that. It doesn't help that our valley's been on fire recently with all these, uh, well, nearby fires. Place gets dusty really quickly around here. Okay, that's what that looks like without the uh, shell on it. And I can use this to go uh, sledding coming up this. I mean, it's, it's big enough. I could probably use this as a sled to sit on it and go down there. I don't know about the little pokey things on the side though. Maybe, maybe, maybe I shouldn't do that. I'm gonna put this aside though. I, I do not want to get rid of that. And then this thing will just slide right back into place. And I can tell where that little nub was. The tricky part will be to align it perfectly. And then it just kind of locks into place? Oh, I said the tricky part. That was easy. Dude, I'm cool with that. All right, here you go. So this is, it's, you can still use it like this. Just plug it in. I can still use my TV, but then I have the added ability of having that guy. How easy was that? My goodness. Okay, um, let's, I mean, we're already here. Let's go ahead and pop it in, hook it up, and see if we can check it out here. All right, mini HDMI. I won't worry about the uh, remote control stuff yet. Let's see, so if the TV goes there. And the HDMI gives you two options, a uh, 60 hertz and a 30 hertz, which is interesting. I'll, I'm gonna try for the 60 one up front here. And because the monitor is its own deal, it will require its own power source, which it does provide. So if you're taking this on the go, you'll need to have you know two plugins, one for your PlayStation 5, one for the monitor. And I'll add this twisty tie in my drawer full of a thousand other twisty ties that I never use. Power here. And that should do it. How do you like this uh, aesthetic here? We got you know, my 1970s sleeper sofa, my Davenport, if you will, if you're from that generation, and uh, the PlayStation 5. Butamus, I see a little LED. It's a little lit up there. Uh, I'm going to hit power on my PlayStation controller. Good sign. And then will I need to hit power on this? Probably, right? Oh, wait a minute. Wow, dude. I mean, this is the first time it's hooked up, so it's going through all the uh, settings, but there you go, that's me. And there's there's no lag, no, no difference in anything. 
as clear as can be. My goodness, the definition on this thing. It's not going to show up as well. Um, I'm using the uh, Canon M50 for my camera here. Mm, man, I'm... I'm... I may actually use this as my preferred gaming method for my PlayStation 5 now. Never mind. I have it's I have a humble TV. It's a 50 inch. It's not bad. It's a it's a HDR. It's a 4K. But this is gorgeous. I know. Look at all of our, all of our streaming services. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah. And I still I actually I literally have a, a DVD in there. I was watching. Yeah. I'm I'm literally watching your science show recently. This thing's super legit too. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's just like. Um, it, it, would be, it would be nice because now, because usually I hit the share button to stream mm -hmm. on Twitch, but th then I don't get the raid thing. I don't get like the alerts when somebody like subscribes or, you know, follows or anything. But with this convenience, I can literally put it over to where my streaming stuff is at the table. I can stream, um, I can stream that way because I can just plug oh, it in. Then let's do uh, Dead by Daylight tonight. Let's stream some Dead by Daylight tonight. I'm cool with that. Pinky promise? Pinky pinky. I've got my pinky right here. Put it, put it in the middle of the camera. Why? Yakusoku. Okay, you can't barely even see. <laughs> couldn't even couldn't even see your hand there. Okay. Sorry. All right, we'll 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 stream some here. Now let me look at the other options here with the remote control. This is the remote control it comes with. It's it's very similar to like the you know the Roku controls and stuff. It's just oh look at this. Here we go. So we got uh, different settings you can do. I'm using the remote control here. Oh, that's great. Change the scale. All right. Oh, interesting. So you can change, you know, maybe if you're using, you know, playing some retro game, you want to play it in uh, the old school manner, the 4.3 instead of the 16.9. Go widescreen. There you go. Dude, that's kind of cool. Love that feature. What does this do? Standard. What are the other options? Oh, then here's volume. And then these are the speakers right here. Here, I can bring this closer. And then there's a speaker there, speaker over there. And again, this thing. I, you know, it's funny. When I first got, I was just like, you know, it, it might be interesting, it might be kind of cool, but this is kind of fun. I like this. Bring it with you or something like that, you know. So this thing's super neat. I love it. If you want yours, link in the description below. You do have to turn it off apparently, so it's still. <laughs> you know how it goes. But thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Always cool stuff coming out.